Hello and welcome Taurus. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright Taurus, this is going to be for those of you in a twin flame or soulmate connection that's currently in a separation. So if you're not here for it, don't worry. I will be doing the regular readings uh, next week. Possibly I pick a card this week. I haven't figured out if I'm going to have time to do that, but definitely going to get something out here. All right, Taurus, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave the rest behind. All right, Taurus, let's see what is coming out for you. Ooh, all right. So we have the Sun card. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, I have to say right off the bat, I'm getting somebody um, has cut off communication and withholding their feelings, like their true feelings for you. It's like they're kind of covering them up, either saying like, this is done, this is over. I don't want this anymore, um, or I can't do this, or, you know, they're just, they're making up something because I'm seeing that they're telling you something that is not true. They're telling you something to kind of make it easier to let you go or to kind of put distance between the two of you. So, you know, take that how it resonates. That's just what is coming through very strong right off the bat. Okay, so Taurus, um, like I said, you have a sun card here. Five of swords. Again, that, I think that's where I could be getting that message as well. Um, but three of wands, there could be some actual geographical distance between you guys, like long distance relationship, or you just, you know something's not right. You know, in your gut, you're just like... This doesn't make sense. How could you, you know, we have like such beautiful moments, so many memories we've created and so much love between us, but you're telling me you don't feel the same way now, or, you know, it's like what changed so quickly. So it feels to me like you already know, like something's not quite right. You know, this person is just putting distance between the two of you, or again, this could be a long distance relationship, um, just to kind of make letting you go a little bit easier, but it just feels like that's not what's going on at all. It feels like this person truly does love you. Um, but again, for some reason, they're just, they're hiding their emotions. Um, with this, you know, guy, he's got that little telescope, you know, really kind of looking out. Definitely feels like Taurus, you are waiting on communication from this person or just because like I said, you just feel it in your gut. Like, you know, something's not, not right. It's not adding up. It doesn't, you know, feel right to you. It doesn't make sense. It's like now all of a sudden this is unrequited. It's like, no, you know, you know, and this person knows you stand out above the rest, you know, and vice versa. There's something very special between the two of you. However, it just feels like, you know, like I said, for some reason they're pulling back. So let's take some clarifiers, but I do see them coming back in. They still feel this connection. They're not going to be able just because they're, you know, verbally saying there's nothing between us or, you know, I can't do this right now or, you know, maybe I'm not feeling the same way or, you know, I'm, I need to look into my feelings more, like whatever the case is. Okay. And I get page of swords. Yeah. They're still watching your, um, social media. They're still asking about you, finding information out about you. Um, but it's like whatever they're doing here, you're still very much on their mind. They're, they still feel that connection with you. All right, because, I mean, the Sun card, that is the happiest card in the deck. You know, the most abundant. And it's like, that's how they truly feel with you. But it's like, there's something else going on here to where they can't fully let you know that. Could be fear, could be ego, could just be like something just in the way. It's not the right time. Um, so clarifying the Sun, we have the King of Cups. We have the Chariot. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Could be a little bit of an age difference between some of you. Um, that part's not going to resonate for everybody. But for some of you, there is an age difference. Um, it does feel like this person could be a little bit more mature. Maybe that's why they're pulling back. Because they don't know how to proceed forward. They're not ready for such you know, an intense commitment. Or I keep getting that there is some kind of blockage. This could be geographical distance. This could be family. This could be... Um, possibly another relationship. I'm not really getting that. I'm getting more just like something is in the way. This could even be work. This could be school. You know, this could be like, I have to do this before I can, you know, commit to this relationship. With this particular chariot card, um, there's no movement. You know, this person is part of your destiny. You know, this person and you are just kind of fated to be together. However, <clears throat> right now there's no movement. 
So King of Cups, you know, kind of withholding some, um, you know, feelings, like I said, still feeling it, but not telling you about it. Like I said, they still feel this connection. They still feel this bond very strongly. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, uh, Four of Swords, and then Ace of Swords. So yeah, so it definitely feels like there has either been little to absolutely no communication that's going to resonate differently for everybody's situation. Uh, with the Four of Swords, again, pulling back that energy. Feels like both of you are healing. It feels like you're trying to start that healing process, but at the same time, you're still the one holding out hope. You're still the one knowing that this is not right. Like, there's still something here, so why are you pulling away from me? Um, still waiting for communication from this person. But at the same time, you're starting to pull your energy back. You're starting that healing process. You're really looking inside, and you're just you're letting it go. You're letting it happen. You're letting what needs to take place take place. Um, you know, Taurus, I feel like your person is just taking this break. It's on pause. I'm not feeling ending. I'm feeling pause. I'm feeling them just kind of pulling back, resting, recuperating, re-energizing, really kind of getting their thoughts, everything um, together before that, you know, big ace of swords moment for that big lightning strike of, you know what, I can't let this go. I need to reach out with communication because I need to be honest and let's start this new opportunity together. All right. So the three of wands, we have the eight of swords. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card. So again, I have to say, there still feels like there's something between the two of you. Either distance or, and that could be emotionally or geographically, um, but there's some kind of distance and some kind of blockage between the two of you. I'm not getting, like I said, for little to no communication for a lot of you, um, but I'm just getting like something else is in the way, like some kind of third-party energy. This does not have to be a person. It can be a situation. However, you know, take it how it resonates. Um, but it does feel like something is in the way blocking this connection. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, this is feeling stuck. Again, kind of going back to that no movement, you know, with the Chariot card here. Um, but with the Justice card, this is saying that there's going to be a wrong that's going to be fixed here. Okay, a wrong is going to be turned into a right. Somebody is coming in with uh, communication, and I do feel strongly like it is your person, um, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they know where their happiness lies. Right now, something's in the way, kind of eating at them. It's like something, they're kind of slowly losing that, and they want to feel that feeling again. They want to feel what they have with you again. They don't want to let it go. Even though there's a lot of trials, tribulations, there could be a lot of, like I said, especially with the distance between the two of you and everything going on in the world, it's not easy to maintain this relationship, especially a long-distance one. There's going to be a lot of issues, especially with travel, not being able to really see each other as much, you know, things like that. So definitely, like I said, some huge blockages within this relationship. Um, trials, tribulations, you know, somebody feels very guarded, just feels like, you know, how is this going to possibly work out? But still wanting the stability of this connection, still wanting the security of this connection, not being able to find that anywhere else. Um, also feeling that very like nurturing, loving sense of let's grow this together. Let's do this together with judgment. This is saying there's unfinished business. Like I said, I do feel this person coming back and Taurus, I feel like this person is going to be the one to reach out to you because in your heart of hearts, you know, you know, it's not over. Oops. All right. So we have, um, for the Knight of wands clarifying it, we have the five of cups. We have the 10 of swords. So even though it feels like an ending, yeah, and then the Six of Swords, even though it feels like an ending and there's a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, those swords are not piercing him yet. This is saying it's still up in the air. There is still hope. Things are not what they appear is what I keep getting very strongly with this particular connection. Um, even though this person has pulled away, even though they're doing their thing, you're doing your thing. Things are not as, as they appear is what I keep getting, the phrase that keeps coming into my head. It's like, um, just because I'm appearing like I've moved on, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, does not mean that I'm not thinking of you. does not mean that you're not on my mind or I go to sleep you know, and I dream about you or I still miss you or I still love you. I still replay our memories over in my head. 
So, you know, again, that five, that speaking of that five of cups and that 10 of swords, you know, the six of swords, like I said, I do feel this person wanting to, you know, reach out to you, wanting to come back. Um, for a lot of you, like I said, it does feel like there is dis distance between the two of you. Um, that's what six of swords, you know, that's often a card of, you know, travel. It's also saying that, you know, sometimes there's some troubled waters that we're kind of sailing through, you know, which requires, like I said, that healing, which it does feel, it does feel like this person and you are both, you know, doing in your own ways, um, especially with this four of swords being present here. All right. All right, Taurus. So let's get some uh, romance angels. Beautiful. Let's get some. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we have wedding. The situation involves marriage. Um, so this could be a family situation. This could be, you know, this can mean a lot of things. Like I said, I am getting some kind of energy here. Worth waiting for. Definitely coming back. Like I said, divine timing is definitely at work in your love life. With the marriage card, I'm also getting that this person does want to take things to the next level. They're coming in with commitment. I'm not, you know, exactly like a proposal. You're going to be married, you know, by tomorrow or next week. But just that, you know, let's take things to a higher level of commitment. Because before I was scared, but now I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, I do want to get some twin flame shadows just to kind of see like what other blockages or what this person may be working through while you are in a separation. So what is this person working on while in separation with Taurus, please? Faithless and ruthless. Okay. So this person could be coming off as kind of cold and distant. Again, things are not as they appear. Um, faithless, this person could have possibly just given up hope. Um, you know, they don't know where to do. They're kind of, I keep getting like a very heavy burden. I, I know the Ten of Wands didn't come out. Um, it was the Nine of Wands, but I keep getting like very Ten of Wands energy, just kind of feeling stuck, feeling very overburdened. Um, yeah, it's like they're really working through a lot here. So this is definitely part of their shadow work. Um, again, coming off as ruthless, it's like they are keeping people at a distance, like purposely. Hmm. And faithless, yeah, just almost like losing hope. And I hate saying that. Um, but it feels like this person, like I said, is definitely on their way to that healing process. So this is just part of their shadow work. All right, I just want to get a card for any other. All right, so we have received. Um, so there could have possibly been communication, you know, sent out um, by you or by, I want to say by them, but it's, that's not feeling right. Um, could be possibly more by you. And it's like, okay, so they received the communication, but they're not responding back. Um, either they've left you on scene or it appears like they haven't even read the message at all. Um but it's like they're not reaching out. They're not you. You are, but they're not. So that could be, like I said, another blockage. Um, but we have patience coming out as well, and we have vibrations. So keep sending, especially with this person. Like I said, feeling very faithless, feeling very hopeless. Um, definitely sending positive, you know, vibrations to this person is going to help them in this healing process. For a lot of you, this is a twin flame. You know, for others, this is soulmate energy. Um, but both still very important. Still that soul connection. Still that deep bond between the two of you. So, like I said, sending healing vibrations and lots of love their way is going to help them in this shadow work period. Um, but also, like I said, the situation is requiring patience. Um, also vibrations. I keep getting that you could be dreaming about this person. You're still very much energetically connected to this person, you know, and vice versa. So picking up on each other's like emotions, uh, dreams, you know, thoughts, you know, things like that. Um, possibly getting signs from this person. All right, let's get a hidden truth oracle. What does this person want Taurus to know? What does this person need Taurus to know, please? One more shuffle. You and I were too young. Okay. But I love you unconditionally. Beautiful. 
Okay, and I have to take this card because it just feels so relevant. And I was looking at the bottom of the deck and it says, so many things remind me of you. All right, so again, still replaying. Like I said, you know, still very much on their mind. Things are not as it seems. Okay, let's get the um, Twin Flame message. So yeah, so again, it could have just been like the wrong time. Maybe, you know, the, it's been a minute. You know, and back then, you both were just too young to really know, you know, the intensity of this connection or to do anything with it or to really take it where it actually belongs. Um, so, yeah. So, again, you've been in my dreams. We just talked about that. And then maybe we're just too different. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Let's grab a charming oracle, heartfelt love message from your person, Taurus. Okay. Okay. Um, I want us to build our empires, even in separation. Good. That is beautiful. So this is talking about healing. You know, even though we're not together, we're not on the same path right now. We've taken our different paths in life currently. I want you to heal. I want you to grow. I want you to build that empire, you know, go after those dreams, you know, accomplish your goals. And that's what this person wants for you. And it feels like that's what you want for this person. So again, sending those beautiful healing, loving vibrations towards each other is definitely, you know, a good, a good sign here. All right, let's go ahead and let's get some twin flame angel numbers. Twin flame angel numbers, please. For Taurus, what else do they need to know? Synchronicities or anything like that. Okay, so we have two coming out. Um, we have 64. So try to see things from your twin flame's perspective to gain a better understanding. Okay, so kind of like walking, you know, walking a mile in their shoes. Um, 888 karmic cycles are now coming to a close. Allow all parties to absorb the necessary lessons for growth. Beautiful. All right. All right, let's go ahead and let's get some charms for Taurus, please. Okay. All right, so we have the little bow here, um, but no arrow. So that's telling me that, again, communicate. there's no communication, but it's still there. They want to reach out, but they haven't yet. Or communication, again, going back to that receive card, somebody has sent communication out but has not been you know, answered. There's no reply yet. With the little skeleton hand, you know, again, this is talking about still reaching out, but again, no response. With the little cat here, um, you know, this is talking about having more than one chance. This is talking about curiosity. This person could be watching your social media or, you know, asking mutual friends about you, you know, whatever the case is. Um, with this little dress here, it does feel like somebody is either going through, you know, like uh, regaining confidence, kind of going through their glow up, or again, I'm getting some kind of transformation or like reinventing themselves. Um, with the little moon and then the fairy and the star, this is talking about wish fulfillment. So this is talking about, you know, magic. This is talking about destiny. Um, so beautiful, beautiful. We also have a little flower here. So, you know, things coming in full bloom. Full bloom. Um, it does feel like I said, you know, there's going to be a rebirth. Um, possibly maybe summertime. I know you got or spring, summertime. I'm getting more spring, actually, with this one. Um, you could be getting some kind of communication from your person. I know a lot of you are like, no, that's too long. But it is what it is, you know. Um, timing is different for everybody, so that's not going to be relevant for everyone. But just, you know, for some of you, like I said, that could be what that means. Um, wishes do come true. Beautiful. Because this, you know, is going back with this little fairy and the moon and the star. Um, again, talking about wish fulfillment. Um, so some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is a little charm of the Zodiac for Pisces. Um, on the back, we have intuitive. So again, I have to say that in your gut, that gut feeling, you are very intuitive. And you know this connection is not over. You can feel this person still wanting to reach out. You also get the charm with the little home and the tree. So this is, again, this is like a committed um, type of you know relationship when they come back. This is speaking of commitment. This is speaking of marriage, starting a family, putting down your roots with this person. So absolutely beautiful, Taurus. That's what I have for you. I hope it helps. And until next time, take care.